Hey, you guys from New Plastic, and today we'll make some cool, fully procedural Damascus patterns in Octane. Made a new pack of over 20 unique Damascus materials, fully procedural, they look awesome, and they're completely customizable since they're procedural, so you can literally get an infinite amount of looks with an infinite resolution. If you feel like you need it, check out my Gumroad, link in the description. If you want to further support the channel, you can also consider Patreon or membership, where you'll get access to all these project files, as well as other cool perks, but mostly you'll help me make more and better content for y'all. Damascus steel is a type of steel forged in a unique way that creates these recognizable watery patterns. However, there's many, many different patterns that can be formed, as well as different iridescence like the blue Damascus, amongst others. Uh, we're going to quickly go over how to achieve some of these looks. Follow me on Instagram at ojang, subscribe, comment, share, bell, clean your carpets, let's go. So I have this simple scene with this knife model. I got a large area light and an indoor HDRI. I'm going to start with a universal material that already has the correct RGB IOR settings for iron. Click somewhere here to check out my realistic metal tutorial if you want to know how to do that. I chose iron, but you can also go with titanium or any other metal that looks good to you. I think Damascus is usually made out of steel, which is mostly iron. Okay, let's add an octane noise. And you'll see that if I connect that to the albedo channel, nothing is happening. That's because my IOR is set to RGB IOR, which ignores the albedo channel. If I want to have areas that are blackened or darker, like some Damascus does, I'll need to turn off the metallic in those areas. So let's plug the noise into the metallic channel. Let's solo the noise. It's way too small, so let's scale it up. And if I crank up the contrast to get more blacks, still nothing is happening. That's because there's nothing in the albedo channel, so let's make it very dark gray. And there you go. Now the black areas in the noise are removing the metallic, allowing the dark albedo to show. Okay, that's a good start, but this noise pattern looks nothing like the familiar watery Damascus pattern, so to get that, the most useful way I found was down here in the custom textures node, adding the random map node. Let's solo this and crank up the input scale. And you can see that as I crank it up, the random map node starts adding more and more random alternating gray values that follow the contour of the noise. The higher the input scale, the more dense the pattern gets. And if we change up the noise settings, the effect will follow the pattern of the noise. So we can make it more round and slick by reducing the omega or add a lot of details for this kind of micro Damascus look. Either way, the less contrast you have, the more dense ring patterns you'll get. And that's really it for the pattern. I think it looks pretty perfect. Now we can add a gradient node to it and crank up the contrast. Cool. Let me just adjust the HDRI rotation to get a better look. That's a bit better. Cool. Now let's add a little more detail. Let's add a noise to the bump channel, scale it down, maybe stretch it a little to get more of a brushed look. Plug the random map to a new gradient node and mix these two using a mix node right into the bump channel. Some nice bump detail. We can crank up the contrast on the noise pattern to make the bump less round. It's a bit offset, so let's adjust it till it fits the color pattern. There you go. And you can control the strength of the bump by reducing the amount of white on both gradients. And also in the mix node, you can make one of the bump noises be more or less prominent than the other one. That's up to you. From my experience, the bump channel always ends up looking too strong, so a little goes a long way. Let's add one more noise to the roughness channel and adjust it the way you like it. I always add a gradient node to have more precise control over it. And that's pretty much it. One more thing you can do is combine one of these noises with the main Damascus pattern using a subtract node. I'm doing it using a UVW transform node so I can adjust the noise without affecting the original one. Then plug that whole thing into the metallic channel. This will invert the original pattern. So let's invert it back in the gradient node. This will add a little more detail to the pattern. Kind of lost the black parts though. We can add another gradient node to crank up the contrast. Mm, yeah, something like this. Still kind of faded. 
what's going on here I guess it kind of looks the same we do get some detail from the original pattern anyway so maybe we don't even need this I think it's a lighting thing anyway kind of shows you how important it is to test your materials with different light settings sometimes changing the light will really show you where your material is failing like here I see that the roughness channel is way too uneven in a way that I don't really like so I'll just make it darker and add more details to it that's way better adjusting the bump channel and yeah that's pretty much it I can again play with the random map scale and change the noise type to get all these different looks how sick and beautiful is this Damascus steel really has many different types of patterns so don't be afraid to play around and experiment now if we want to get that blue Damascus look the most realistic way I found to get it is using the thin film channel let's plug the bump system there and carefully start to increase the film IOR till we get to the blues Let's also add a gradient node and start to adjust the different parts of the noise. This is a bit tricky because the film layer is so sensitive, every tiny change drastically changes the spectrum. Mm. Let's actually remove the noise from the metallic channel because we don't really need it now. And let's plug the original pattern to the film channel to get a cleaner look. And after a little messing around with it, I got to a place that I liked. Beautiful. This is so cute. Yeah, the film channel gradient had these values here. And I ended up with the film IOR at around three. Beautiful. And even though you can now adjust the original noise and random map to get different looks, you can also experiment with different nodes altogether. Obviously, we can plug in the Noise 4D that has even more unique noise patterns. You can really get an infinite amount of patterns here. I also like how the marble node looks with a more directional flow to the pattern. Of course, playing with the different marble settings will get you different details. Or also, the Moir Mosaic has some cool patterns that will obviously be a bit cleaner, but still mesmerizing, especially the ring pattern. Play around with it, test different things, have fun with it. So yeah, nothing crazy advanced here, just having some fun with some procedural patterns and wanted to share it with you. Check out the procedural Damascus pack on my Gumroad or consider supporting on Patreon. It's really greatly appreciated. A cheeky wink and a nod to my down-ass patrons and members. Emmanuel Melas, Yin and Gong, Guillaume Lopez, Dave Toro, Marie Robbins, Voice Chari, Eric Hu, Daniel Larry, Minky Kim, Potter, Jamie Nix, Leo, Miss Kick 2S, Peter Rodiger, Young Ji Shin, Chris Hyde, Alda Boyd, Farong Farong, Katie Broyle, Derek Fredrickson, Rasmus Holmquist, 3D Monkey Biz, Arlen, Suki Violet 2, The 22 Design, Joel Rieger, Adrian Desolet, Derek Schultz, Marie Sickendorf, Studi Image, Matus Jadzuski, Blue Hamel, Mark Reagan, Joshua Akoy, Pox and Konum Siri, Webb, Kong Idiot, Maddie DeGrell Dre, Choi Yun Jun, NZE, IMN, Golfino666, Ali Asser, Mouse from Next House, Rom30, Leandro Merriman, May, Baugasm, Shane, Harry Cooper, Big Max, My ZDD, Hannah Kazeka, Lotaro Gonzalez Toledo, and everybody else on the list. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.